Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Run Playing Cards by Murphy's Magic, so let's get right on in to the review. This deck is one of the first decks to have a hard outer protective custom card case. On the front of the deck, it says Run in Foil right there, and then on the side, it says after the score, there's only one thing left to do. And it says run on both sides right here, and there's nothing else in the box. But it's a hard exterior, but what you do is you just pull this little part off right here, and there reveals the actual deck on the inside, which is not exactly what I thought it would look like coming from the actual protective card case. But here's what the actual deck looks like. This deck is green all the way around, and it has gold foil front to back on all the directions. This is a, a spade depicted on the front right here, kind of cut in half. It has nice elements within the actual like triangles on the deck, like very detailed, fine detailed. And it says like run on the sides over here, and it's very, it's embossed, it's foiled, it looks fantastic. On the side it says distributed by Murphy's Magic, and it has gold foil elements and like very fine details in between that. On the side it says after the score there's only one thing left to do and then it has nice foil elements and embossing and all those like intricate details within. The bottom there's just some foiling and some detailing and on this side it says run and with some detailing. The cool thing about this deck is it opens from the side so it's very interesting and on there it says run as well on here and it has gold foil elements on the flap as well. And then on the inside you look at the flap it says learn a gambling routine with included gaff cards at murphysmagic.com. Com. So you can learn a trick that actually comes with the deck and the inside of the deck is green So first off we're gonna take a look at the back design this whole deck kind of encompasses like gambling and money and all that kind of good stuff So this green and gold definitely really go together It has like a money symbol in the middle and then it incorporates those like triangle designs that you actually see on the tuck box itself And I think the tuck box and the back design match so well. I think it looks Absolutely fantastic, especially with all this like intricate detail in the middle and kind of like the side swipe how it like all overlaps I just think it all goes together so well and just looks so pristine and it's a very well done and well designed deck So next we're gonna take a look at the jokers and both jokers are exactly the same It's like a dagger going in the middle of like a gold heart It says joker on both corners and it says Murphy's magic playing card company at the bottom and as I said before, they're both exactly the same. Next, you have the gaff cards that I mentioned, uh, where there's like an ace of hearts here with a three of clubs on the other side, and then there's like a three of clubs with ace hearts on the other side. And it's a trick that actually comes with the deck. Next, we're going to take a look at the ace of spades, which is the same spade that is depicted on the tuck box, but I think it's done beautifully and transferred very well onto the cards. It's that dagger you see in the actual... Joker, as I said before, going through the heart. The ace is split down the middle. It has intricate elements within it, and it says after the score, there's only one thing left to do. The pips look great on here. Everything just really ties together well in this deck. Next, we have the court cards, the king, the queen, and the jack of spades. They have all those like split elements that you see on the actual tuck box itself, and the jokers, and the ace of spades, and they all go really t together very well with the overall color scheme and uh, actual like detailing. They go really well together and I think they look very nice. If we take a look at some of the number cards, you notice that it is 100% custom, but the pip placement is a little different on some of the cards, which is very cool and something that uh, not a lot of decks do. So it's very refreshing to see something different and the 100% custom elements in the deck. This deck right here comes in three different editions. Uh, this edition right here is the Gambler's Green and Gold. 15,000 of these were made and this is the standard edition of the deck. The next edition is the Heat edition, which is Crimson and Chrome, and only 10,000 of those were made. I unfortunately don't have one of those. However, the last edition that they have is the Bankroll edition, and it ex is extremely limited and really hard to get your hands on. I think this deck was done very great. I think everything ties together well. I love how the color scheme matches up perfectly from tuck box to back design. I think it looks Fantastic. This deck handles super well. It's printed by the USPC. It's a great handling deck of cards, a great looking deck of cards. There's pretty much almost no complaints I have about this deck right here. I think it was done beautifully, and I think Jason Brumbelow outdid himself with this one. So this overall deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. I think the stock of this deck is very nice. It is not too thick. It's not too thin. It's that happy median, and it is a very springy, nice, and soft, and it feels really good in your hands. Definitely something I would recommend to you to get. 
So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. The look of this deck, I think, is fantastic. As I said before, Jason Brumbelow, the designer of this deck, he did a fantastic job making all the elements combine and all of the colors and everything just look so good and tie in very well. I think it's overall done so fantastically. So the look of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. The handling and feel of this deck is super nice. This deck handles really well over time. It holds up to wear and tear. It doesn't clump a whole lot after a lot of use. I think it handles super great. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching my run Gambler's Green and Gold Edition deck review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give it a like right down below just to let me know that you guys really did enjoy this video. Also, if you have any comments, questions, concerns about this deck right here, definitely leave that in the comment section below. I would love to interact with all of you guys. Also, be sure to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel right here to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. That's your only way to be notified, and it's 100% free, so just... Feel free to go ahead and do that. In addition to that, all my social media links are down below as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Definitely go follow me on Instagram. I post cool pictures like all the time. So keep up with my daily life on those little social medias down there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and definitely look forward to a new deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.